Another stormy day for some across upper Michigan, but now that cold front that has been causing all the storminess over the past 24 hours has now moved off to the south and east. On our local three radar network, we're dry across upper Michigan, but as we go into northern lower Michigan, we still have some thunderstorms producing some heavy rain, and that's where we do have a flash flood warning for Ogemont County, Aranac County, Roscommon County, and Gladwin County. And as we remember earlier this year, late May, this area had some heavy rain move through here and flooded a good number of farm fields. So let's send our good thoughts below the bridge once again. Hopefully they make it through this round of rain and thunderstorms without too many headaches. Speaking of headaches, this line of thunderstorms here, otherwise known as a derecho, and a derecho is a long-term wind event or a wind event that covers a lot of miles here. Look at all these wind reports here extending from the I-75 corridor from Toledo to Cincinnati back to the west into Iowa here. And in fact, as we close on in to the Quad Cities, the Davenport, Iowa area, this is at the National Weather Service or right near the National Weather Service in Davenport, Iowa, an 86 mile per hour wind gust. And then as we look at Chicago near Midway Airport there, a 72 mile per hour wind gust. And we had other wind reports between between 90 and 100 miles per hour with that line of storms. Thankfully, we did not have to deal with it, but we had to deal with a little bit of our rough weather last night with a wind gust of 56 miles per hour right downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard when that line of storms went on through. And then in the Keweenaw Peninsula, we had to deal with some heavy rain last night. Elm River getting 3.3 inches of rain, and that's why there was a flash flood warning in effect for Houghton County or parts of Houghton County last night. So warm weather is ahead here. Quiet weather, thankfully, with less humidity, mainly dry conditions for the rest of the week. Our next rain chance and storm chance doesn't come until the daytime on Friday. So here's a local three future cast here. Clear skies tonight, bright, beautiful, sunny skies for Tuesday, but we will have the wind. And then as we go into Tuesday night, we're dry. Same deal for Wednesday. We're dry once again with sunshine, warm temperatures and low humidity for tonight. Lows in the 50s, clear skies around 60 or the 60s near the Great Lakes. Less humidity tonight, so a much comfortable sleeping night. And we'll have the sunrise come up tomorrow morning right about quarter to seven in the morning Eastern time. As we look at the next three days here, we're looking at sunshine. It'll be warm tomorrow with wind. At times, winds could gust over 20, maybe over 25 miles per hour. Look for high temperatures for Tuesday afternoon around the 80 degree mark or the 80s. You can see there the warmest temperatures will be for inland areas of the western UP where high temperatures there could reach the middle to perhaps the upper 80s. For the daytime on Wednesday, we're looking at bright, beautiful sunshine once again, warm temperatures in the afternoon, pretty much Temperatures in the same ballpark with high temperatures across upper Michigan around the 80 degree mark or the 80s. And then as we look at the daytime on Thursday, we're going to go with the same temperature pattern again with mainly sunny skies. High temperatures Thursday around the 80 degree mark or the 80s. And then for Friday and Saturday, we'll have a chance of rain and thunderstorms. Highs Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon around the 80 degree mark or the 80s. And then cooling off as we go into Sunday and also Monday behind the cold front that should move through here at some point Saturday afternoon. Weather anytime on our WJM on Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com. And you can find us on our Facebook page at WJM and TV and also our 90 six weather watchers page out on the water for tomorrow. Small craft conditions for Western Lake Superior and a little bit of chop out there for the Lake Michigan waters and for parts of Lake Superior. James, 